So putting it all together about energy intake, what matters most as far as propensity to put on body fat mass to store energy is the total energy content of the diet, which in Canada, we usually measure in kilocalories. However, protein might, a diet higher protein might promote modest improvements in body weight, um, but really calories are what matter more than anything else, okay? And adding a layer of complexity like we just talked about, the bacterial composition of the gut may actually help some people get more calories out of their diet, regardless of how much they're, they're consuming, okay? So that's something that is just one more complicating factor on that um, concept of energy intake, okay? And what I really wanted to finish off this conversation saying is that, okay, yeah, we know energy intake is one of the main things that promotes the likelihood for energy storage on the body. And we know that carbs, fats, proteins, alcohol, and let's say the microbiome, they're all kind of responsible for determining energy intake directly. However, just because you know that you should be eating at a caloric deficit, if that's right for you, doesn't mean you're going to, right? People know, people with obesity typically know that to reduce their obesity, they have to reduce energy intake. Now, why can't they? That's a bigger question. So we need to understand the, the basics of energy intake before we start exploring why do people eat so much? Okay, because it's actually hard to go on a huge energy deficit and there's many body responses that stop us from doing that. Okay, so in this course, we're going to look at many factors that affect energy intake indirectly, right? Things like genetics, things like epigenetics, appetite regulation, which I'm a big proponent of, of talking about, psychology, our environment, right? All of these can influence how much energy we take in. So solely like abiding by the eat less, move more way of talking about obesity, it doesn't get us anywhere, right? These are just the basics, but human behavior is complex. And if we're actually going to help people to eat less, if that is something that they want, and that's, you know, in line with their health plan, right? How can we, we're just telling them to eat less isn't enough. Right? How do we shift the factors that cause them to have a higher energy intake? That is something we're going to look at in this course. But before then, I want to talk about the other side of energy balance. And we're going to look at energy expenditure in the next few months.